welcome to my channel. I am Courtney Noel, and clearly, I am Courtney Noel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are an oldie but a goldie, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, welcome back to my channel. As my goldies know, if y'all see a scrub, <laughs> if y'all see a scrub top with a stethoscope, this is going to be a nurse related video. And today, we are going to discuss the differences that I can think of when it comes to an associate prepared nurse and a bachelor's prepared nurse. So if you're interested and you're like, child, I really do want to be a nurse, but what does that really mean? If you're trying on the cusp of deciding if you want to go get your associates or your bachelor's in nursing, or if you just want to be plain old nosy, go ahead and stay tuned to this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And ring my bell. Ring my bell. My bell. Ring a ling a ling. Ring my bell so you can stay notified of my weekly videos. Okay, my goldies already know, but for you new newcomers out there, I'm going to give you my nursing history. I have been a nurse for a registered nurse for 13 years. My um, experience ranges from med search, tele emergency department, PACU recovery, and most most recently case management, where I worked in utilization review and denials and appeals. Um, and so I have a wide range of experience. I've traveled nurse. I've worked in outpatient facilities. So I have. I've done hospital. I have a lot of wide range experience in different specialties so uh, yeah that gives me kind of the experience of working with a lot of different people so let me tell you a little bit about my backstory as far as my degrees so I am a I have an associate and I have a bachelor's so let me tell you how this happened I started out at FSU and I got all my prerequisites. I have a video talking about how I didn't get into nursing school and all that good stuff. So click here if you want to see it. But basically, I had all my prerequisites. I had everything prepared to go to nursing school, but I just wasn't able to get into FSU's nursing school. So with that, I still had the prerequisites. So I was shopping my, you know, my, my packet or whatever to different schools. And I got into University of Virgin Islands. I think it was University of Alabama Huntsville and Hampton. University if I'm not mistaken those were the three and I decided to go to the University of the Virgin Islands I have a video about that experience here so with that being said I go down to St. Croix US Virgin Islands mind you I had never been to this island before so me and my mom we go trucking down there I had a homegirl who went with me she went to school nursing school too so I did not, as a young teeny bopper, I didn't do a thorough research. I was just under the impression, I assumed, and we all know about assuming, it'll make an A word out of you and me. I just assumed that um, I was going into their bachelor's program, even though I was on the St. Croix campus, and it doesn't work like that. On St. Croix, they have the associate, the associate degree. On St. Thomas, they have the bachelor's. Well, this is how it was when I was there. So when I got to St. Croix, I realized that they had me enrolled in the associate's degree and I had a bachelor, wait, no, they had me enrolled in associate's, but I, I wanted to do a bachelor's. So when it got down to the nitty gritty of it all, I would have had been like behind two or three years if I would have went to St. Thomas to finish the bachelor program. But with my prerequisites, it put me into straight into the clinical portion of the associate's program at St. Croix. So I made the executive decision to stay in St. Croix and get my associates. You guys, this was like devastating to me because I had no idea. I'm like, why would I come way out here to get an associate's? I could have went to TCC or I could have went to BCC or I could have went to Miami Dade. But you know, God has a way of working things out because that was where I was supposed to be. So anyway, nevertheless, I, after I graduated, I had all the prerequisites to become a bachelor's, so I transitioned right into a bachelor's program at University of West Florida, and I finished my bachelor's within like a year by the time. So I graduated in May of 2009, and I had my bachelor's by December 2010. So that's how come I can kind of give a uh, my thoughts on it along with the fact that I've precepted bachelor's prepared nurse um, nursing students along with associate prepared nursing students. So let's just go ahead and get right into the topic. As far as this, let's start off with the similarity. Some, mm, la, 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 la. Let's start off with the similarities. So I kind of feel like um, there's some myths surrounding associates versus versus bachelor's prepared nurses. Um, first of all, let's get it off. Let's let's start off by saying for the bulk of prerequisites, they both have the same. 
Associates and bachelors start off with the bulk of the same prerequisites. Of course, bachelors has more as far as like when they get to graduate, they have more uh, different classes they have to take. But as far as getting into the bulk of your clinicals, of your um, theory, when it comes to actual nursing practice, the prerequisites are basically the same. Um, as far if you see me looking now, it's because I want I'm looking at my notes and I want to make sure I hit all the the points that I came up with. Um, as far as examination, so let's talk about the NCLEX RN. Associates and bachelor prepared nurses take the same NCLEX. There is no difference when they pass associate or bachelors, they are all the same RN. So a registered nurse is a registered nurse is a registered nurse. Don't get it twisted. So if you're nine times out of ten, you don't really know which which one is taking care of you. Because it really doesn't matter because both of them have the prudency according to the NCLEX to be able to be a registered nurse and provide safe, ethical, empathetic care. Prudent care. I love the word prudent. Anyway, so those are the similarities. So if you're like, well, what's the difference when it comes down to taking the test? There is really no difference in that respect. Um, let's talk about the associate nurses. So typically that's a two to three year program depending on where you go. Um, but they, they, in my opinion, they have a quicker time to get from theory didactic into clinical. So they have to kind of be able to hit the ground running. And I think that that's what sets the two apart in my opinion. The bachelor's prepared nurses, they go to school for about four years. And again, they have a lot more theory, a lot more um, book work uh, opposed to uh, vice uh, compared to compared to the associate nurses. So when I think about it from a clinical standpoint, when I have percepted both the associate nursing student and the bachelor's nursing student, um, I feel like the, the associate nursing student has a little bit more clinical acumen. They're able to function better and they're more eager to do the hard work. So for instance, I may have an associate associate prepared or I may have had an associate prepared nursing student and they are like, okay, I know I need to help the PCA turn. I know I need to help the PCA feed feed the patient. Or then when um Miss Courtney, when you're ready, let me um pass meds with you so we could talk about it. You know, let me if you're gonna do some lab work, let's do that. Let's discuss when you're reviewing your labs or when you're doing your doctor's orders. The associate prepared nurse is a little bit more hands-on, ready to jump in. And I think it's because they have to know a lot of stuff really quickly. When it comes to my bachelor's prepared nurses, they're still eager, but they um their first instinct is not for them to do those things themselves. They're more so um, wanting to delegate. So like, shouldn't the nursing assistant be taking the vitals or shouldn't, um, do I do the acu check or is the PCA going to do the acu check? And I think that that's because with bachelor's prepared nurses, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of didactic, it's a lot of theory, but the, the thought process is that you delegate a lot of things. And in theoretically, that's true, but in clinical, in, in actuality, it doesn't work like that. As a nurse on the floor, baby, you're going to be the PCA, you're going to be the monitor tech, you're going to be the lab tech, you are going to be um, IT, housekeeping, baby, you're going to be everybody. So you have to kind of, um, you know, understand that when you get put in this setting, when it's time to put everything you've learned into practice, it's go time. And the things that you may have read in the book may not be in what's going on in actuality. So when it comes to whether or not should you go associate or should you get your associates in nursing or your bachelor's, I think it's more so depending on the person. If you, because let's face it, this profession, we know nursing like degrees. If you ain't got some type of something behind your name, they be looking at you crazy, okay? That's why they trying to push everybody into a master's. They trying to push everybody to get certified and this and that because this is a profession of letters, right? So even I can give the experience that at my job, in order to, uh, they, they make the associate prepared nurses sign an agreement um, that they're going to get their bachelor's in a certain amount of time. So I think it's three years they have to be in school up to five, three to five years. It's some type of time bracket. So with that being said, you know, the profession on a whole is moving towards bachelor prepared nurses. But 
we don't have the staff, the manpower to really demand that. So that's why associate nurses and LPNs are still very much valuable. So I think it just boils down to you as a person. Are you ready to go? Do you have the um, the luxury of having a little bit more time to get your bachelor's so you can be straight up degree? Or maybe you're somebody like, you know, I need to get it going. I need the income. I need to learn and I'll go back for my bachelor's. I think it just boils, really boils down to you as a person. So you guys, let me know know in the comments what you think my seasoned nurses who've dealt with or maybe you have both you guys let me know what you think in the comment box do these videos because I always want you to know that I love you but God he loves you so much more God bless you